Hey there, Bridget and Emily. I originally wanted to get this video out on Wednesday, but unfortunately on Wednesday night I had a lot of homework. And then on Thursday night, I had a lot of homework due the next day on Friday. So Friday I was tired and sleepy and blah 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 Long story short, this video is coming to you pretty late. And anyway, I decided that with this video I wanted to take you guys on a tour around the wonderful campus of Valparaiso University. The only problem is that it is raining today. So not really the best day to take a tour. So instead we're going to use the magic of video editing, and I'm going to take you guys back in time to August 27th when the weather was considerably nicer. So to start our tour, let's take a look at a sign that says where we are. Well, looking over here at this conveniently placed stone sign, we can see that we're at entrance to Valparaiso University, whose slogan is, In thy light we see light. Walking away from the sign, we come to one of the dorms, Lankenau, in which I live. This building was built around in the 1960s. Unfortunately, it does not have air conditioning. Turning to our south, we can see the chapel. It really is a beautiful building, and it is a pleasure to sit in for things like convocation. We can't go inside, though, because I didn't get up early enough to get good pictures from the inside. In the morning, though, the light filters in through the stained glass, making for some rather, well, amazing artwork. Next up on our tour is an examination of local wildlife, like this praying mantis. Since he is so religious and all, he's probably in a hurry to get to the aforementioned chapel, so we will let him be on his way. Turning to our left, we see the Nell Science Center, where I end up spending a large portion of my week. This is where my science colloquium is held each week, and also where I take my physics classes. Again, we could go inside if I was not in a hurry because, well, I, like I said, I didn't bother to take pictures. To our right is the entrance to the Hara Union in the cafeteria. The food is decent, though personally I am more than a little bit disappointed that when they serve the spicy Chinese, it tastes less spicy than KFC chicken. Luckily, they have sriracha and Tabasco sauce on hand if you happen to like your food hotter than your plate. Going around to the front of the Hara Union, we see the main entrance. The building is a relatively recent addition and is a great place to hang out on campus. Located on this side of the building are the Career Center, Rec Room Cafe, and Student Mailboxes. Continuing on from the Hara Union, we go to the Mueller Hall, home of Christ College. Christ College is the honor college at Valparaiso University and can be thought of as the home of the advanced liberal arts courses. Mueller Hall is a nice building, though it is a bit old, and has an excellent lounge. In fact, since I bothered to do it, let's go and see that lounge. The lounge is usually a quiet place where Christ College students can read their philosophy textbooks in peace before having to verbally duke it out as to what the correct interpretation of aforementioned books are. Leaving Mueller Hall, we go to this, the College of Arts and Sciences, which is the brand new building on campus. This is primarily an office building for the professors who are in the arts and sciences. However, like I said, it is very new, and on the inside it is actually pretty cool. However, again, I was in a hurry. Now we come to my favorite building on campus, the Christopher Center, which I actually went inside. The Christopher Center is another relatively recent addition to the campus, and represents one of the finest libraries that I have ever seen. Upon entering the library from the second story, you walk into a large open area used for receptions. When you get to the library proper, you are greeted by a large open expanse and stone floors and high ceilings. You'll notice the light boxes are hanging from the ceiling. They provide a bright, diffuse light that prevents any corner of the library from being especially dark, making for easy reading. Going upstairs to the fourth floor, we come to the balcony, which has one of the best views on campus. Looking out, you can see the chapel and even the gardens that surround the bell tower, although I'm not sure how visible they are in this picture. This concludes our tour of Valparaiso University. I hope you enjoyed your brief journey back in time. Well, there you go, Bridget and Emily. That's what the campus looks like where I'm going. So I hope you guys like that, and I will see you, Bridget, on Monday.